And what's the difference between an LPA receiver and a fixed charge receiver? An LPA receiver is appointed under the Law of Property Act 1925, and the lender, that's typically the bank, becomes eligible to appoint when the lender can exercise his power of sale, such as on a mortgage default. And under the LPA 1925, an LPA receiver has the power to demand and recover all income, that's typically the rent, but not a sale. So the powers within the Act are relatively limited. <coughs> but the powers of, of an LPA receiver are often supplemented by additional powers included in the legal charge, such as the sale. The fixed charge receiver is appointed directly under the terms of the mortgage deed. There's no reference to a court. This is far more flexible as far as the lender is concerned to appoint under a fixed charge rather than the LPA. And most of the receivers we come across are in fact, in fact fix, fixed charge receivers. <coughs>